Hello everyone, my name is Triplus and today we will be looking at installing the Alexa voice services on a Raspberry Pi Zero. So why am I doing this now? The best reason I can show you is because um, four days ago a new version of the voice services uh, were released uh, which includes very nice features. So you won't have to authenticate each time you bring up the sample app. That means that you can actually use scripts now to control it so you can stop uh, your Raspberry Pi, restart it and this will boot without having to connect to a uh, VNC all the time. And apparently it also includes a new wake word uh, model which is very nice so let's get to it. So here I have the um, well the current version running or even maybe an older version so 2016 um, 0207 so it's fairly old right now but um, Alexa how are you? Okay, so as you can see, um, everything's working. Uh, the reason why uh, you see the CPU is such so high all the time is because I'm also running Mopd on this Raspberry Pi. It's a Raspberry Pi Zero, so it's not the strongest one out there, but it works. So what we'll be needing today is a VNC session and um, a uh, putty session, and of course the website over here. Uh, I won't go through all the setup steps. Uh, the reason because of that is that here on Raspberry Pi, if you open this, you will get a very nice guide that shows you all the things you need to do on, um, on the Amazon website or the developer console or whatever you want to call it. But I'm actually going to start here. So we're going to shut down um, Alexa for now. So I have everything running in Tmux sessions because that's more manageable. Uh, so let's go for the companion service, let's also kill the Java client and let's also kill the wakeword agent. So the next step, or at least what I want to do, is that I have a, um, a folder in desktop which is called uh, Alexa AVS Sample App. So I'm going to um, move the Alexa AVS uh, to old to. Um, so let's see. So we now have this. So now we can actually start with copying everything from here. So let's, okay, we actually need to make dear um oh wait wait a second i actually skipped this step sorry so uh, we're on the desktop so let's clone this um the reason why i am doing this on a raspberry pi zero as well because when i was helping other people uh, on forums and in other youtube videos is that they were having issues with their raspberry pi zero um to get the audio working the reason why that is not working is because a Raspberry Pi Zero has no 3.5 millimeter jack or, um, well, in my case, it's not connected to HDMI, so I don't want to keep a screen on all the time uh, just for audio. So I actually also have a, a configuration file that will make the audio output go over USB. So I have connected a USB microphone and a USB speaker, also USB dongle uh, and an Arduino for other reasons uh, but those are running on here so um, yeah th that's the reason why uh, why I'm doing this on the Raspberry Pi Zero so when you're only running uh, the Alexa voice services it runs fairly well um, I'm running a few other things uh, because I'm just playing around with a bunch of things but it still works you know okay so once everything is downloaded we will actually just continue with the steps marked here so we will uh, let me put this on half screen we will uh, uh, change directory we will open the file and now it's time to paste our uh, ids over here so it's also explained in this document where you would get those and i'm actually going to do that off screen because i don't want everyone to see these uh, obviously once you made a change to the automated install script we can just run it 
auto mate. Is it? Oh, I probably have to make it executable. Um, there we go. Automated install dot sh. Why is it not working? I'm not in the correct directory. Let's try that again. Okay, apparently I did something wrong. Um, do we agree? Well, I guess we always agree. So, do you have an Amazon developers account? Uh, yes. Well, I guess you see everything there, but I will block this, of course. Uh, this information is correct. I'm going for the Great Britain one because I live in Belgium and this is closer to my home. Uh, what output? For Raspberry Pi Zero, this doesn't matter. Um, but in other cases, I would choose a 3.5 millimeter jack, else you would need a screen collected constantly. I want to do that. Yes, please. Um, so we're actually just running through the uh, the installation setup script here. I think it's not necessary that I go through every step. Um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, yeah, we just run the wizard and it will just start installing everything. Um, no need to do anything here. So I will see you guys once this is finished. Okay, so this finished uh, installing, as you can see here, uh, these are the comments that you need to execute. So this is for the companion service, which will keep your um, your token uh, for logging in. Uh, this is the Java client, which is the actual um, Alexa voice services. And then we have, uh, of course, your wake word agents. I'm using a uh, kit AI um, in this. So in my VNC here, I have um, a um, file, which I would like to open which basically executes these comments in a, uh, in a team accession. Um, so, and we first kill them, of course, uh, but this is not uh, really important. So, um, what we can do here um, now is execute this. This would actually open everything in Tmux. So, if this would allow me, um, so let's open this. And so everything, yeah, as you can see here, the CPU is such as 100%. So we'll just leave this going for a while. Um, this will take a little while because the, the three services are actually booting at the same time right now. Uh, we can take a quick peek at top. Uh, uh, as you can see, Node is the, uh, the companion service, Java is the AVS sample app, and Wakeward Agent is, well, obviously Wakeward Agent. Uh, so all of them are starting. Okay, so the Alexa voice services um, screen pops up. Um, so let's click yes here. This will actually open a Google Chrome screen, so you will need, um, this is why we need the VNC session, so we will need uh, to open the browser on the device. Uh, as far as I understand, you will only need to do this one time. Um, and this one time is now, because for the rest of your, well, I'm not going to say live, but at least for the rest of this uh, version, you should be able to just keep running um, the same session now because your token uh, gets saved uh, across sessions. Okay, so from here we can choose advanced and then proceed to localhost and then sign in using our secure server. So it will now actually generate the token, which then can be used in uh, the actual application. So let's wait for this to finish. Okay, so once it says that your device token is ready, you can close this.
click OK here. And the token should appear in this white box if everything is fine. There we go. So let's try it with just clicking the microphone button. Of course it won't work. So the reason why it won't work. So we have killed all of them. What do we need to do? Uh, this, well, I have a backup file, which I will copy the contents from. So this file will actually make sure that your output and input, crap, that your output and input is um, going over USB. So where we need to place this file, I'm going to do it via here because it's easier. Uh, Let's go to our home directory. Um, then we can do uh, nano.asoundrc, remove all of this. Ah, it doesn't copy over, of course it doesn't. Um, we take the asoundrc backup too. It's on our desktop, of course. So we do nano desktop uh, asound rc backup2. We copy this. We do this. We remove everything here. We paste this. I think we can actually remove a few lines here. We save this. Then we start everything again. And this is actually already a good test to see if uh, the companion service kept our device token or at least our uh, our token. So let's wait for it to boot up again. Okay, so I just came back from enjoying uh, a nice pizza, which is always nice. And when I came back, I saw that my token was filled in. I didn't need to do anything else. And Alexa. Was my pizza nice? Please visit Amazon to track or manage your orders. Well, yeah, um, she didn't quite understand me, but as you can see, Alexa is working fine. Alexa, would you say goodbye? Hmm. I can't find the well, to the question I heard. She's not kind of working with me right now, but as you can see, we have Alexa voice services working on a Raspberry Pi Zero using USB output and it's the latest version and we can now restart or do whatever we want and our session or our bearer token will stay saved. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope, I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial. Have fun setting up your Alexa on your Raspberry Pi Zero and see you again in the next one. Bye.